In summer of 2019, the dream that we had for such a long time became unexpectedly a reality. We sold our car and bought a 2018 Ford Transit cargo van to make it our tiny home on wheels. We had 10 days to leave our apartment and get everything ready to move in into the van to start officially our van life journey without a proper conversion or any electrical or water system installed. We thought that those steps might happen earlier in the year, but unfortunately they didn't. We don't regret a single day the decision made. The freedom it has given us and the places it has taken us are the most valuable and amazing treasures. We are still looking for the ways to become financially independent to be able to travel full time. In the meanwhile, we stay stationary working in the city and take some weekend escapes to the great outdoors to embrace nature and find peace. With the tour of our van, we want to inspire those of you who dream about adventure and think it's unachievable to show you how in a simple and modest way you could start living on van life mode. Hi, welcome back to our channel. We are Ellie and on van life mode. So we decided to take you to a tour on our van, our non-converted van, that is the way we have been living in this for all, a year and a week. So let's take you there. Here we are at the El Capitan um, Reservoir, Lake, I think. <laughs> Reservoir. Reservoir. We just came to spend the day and just enjoy a little bit uh, near San Diego. Beautiful, very quiet. So yeah, let's keep going with the tour. This is where I sit. Alcohol, sprays, antiseptics, Clorox, my pemas from Little Arrow, Life Travel Bottle, Gels, hand sanitizers, my little thing for protection. Pepper, pepper, spray. Pepper, spray. pepper spray for protection. We keep our shoes here and we go barefoot to the inside of the van. Documents and stuff. Now it's disconnected, but here we connect to the 12 volts, our dash cam and on the other 12 volts cooler. USB connections for the iPhones. This is where we keep our sunglasses, some snacks, gloves, a little mirror here. Passport, national parks, lots have. It's a little bit big for me. In this section, sprays and blood stuff, flashlights, cool stuff that he likes. Let's keep going. Okay, so let's take you inside where all the magic happens. Okay, so welcome to our little hippie gypsy. Um, this is what it is right now. Later it's gonna be more stylish than when we do the conversion, but by now we just try to do like a nice atmosphere to be here. This is not very beautiful, but drinking water from the glacier dispensers. Some juice are very important and useful vacuum. Cordless, which is very important. We use it almost every day. It charges while we drive. We got this uh, cost. These are the blackout curtains that we use for privacy while we sleep or during the day. This is like the cheapest cooler. This is the cooler that we bought for the our first 4th of July. And we just got it. So when we moved to the van, we didn't think of buying anything else just by now to... Uh, <laughs> now in summertime we have to change ice almost every day or every two days we use this uh, dry bag we keep all of our food in here in different ziplocs before that uh, everything got wet and we just had to throw the food away so this way it gives it dry uh, we just need to drain it and yeah, we have a little body here, of course, because it's summertime. This, we had it uh, from the last year when we drove uh, with the other van. This is a uh, 12 volts. This is the one that we connect there to the 
12 volts and it's uh, a kind of like a fridge but it's very bad it doesn't keep temperature so we keep here some fruit some veggies stuff like that not perishable because yeah it doesn't keep temperature and it's not a good one so yeah this needs to be upgraded as soon as possible okay so here we have our lovely and helpful jaggery this is the 500 version which has one ac port and three usbs and the dc it's charging while we drive or we can plug it to the ac and when we are at an office or something like that or at a park it's up to 500 watts if we plug the fan it might run for about six hours so for the laptops it, it doesn't drain so fast so we can plug both laptops and use it for about I don't know, six hours maybe. While we drive, we just keep it here. And when we want to use it, we would move it so we could plug the um, cards. So we can at least plug both of the laptops. So this is the charger that we plug to our inverter. So we charge here the vacuum and Jackery. the jackery. And this, uh, the solar power bank, which also helps us a lot. Eight gallon wheeled water container that we use in case we need water. Like we have this drinking water and this is just for any kind of use, like any kind of use. Uh, we have to keep it tied to this uh, here because while we drive, it, even like that, sometimes when we have like this uh, carbs, it might move. So yeah, it has happened a lot that the table moves or falls. So yeah, we need to keep it as sturdy as possible. Okay, so here Vlad is this uh, wooden structure, which I really like. Uh, so we could hang the cups collection and then this cute hangers. My hats, which I don't use that much. We want it something like that. So when we drive, everything wouldn't fall. So we found those at Ikea and they have worked really well. The Malaxite Carbon Fire Alarm, is in both of those. And then we have our other spray to keep a nice other here. And then this is our LED light with uh, motion detection. Uh, we use it on, on or on the auto for the night. So when we sleep and just want to go to the restroom, it would just turn on automatically. Very useful. This, I think we got it at Home Depot. The little pink collection here. Yeah, Vlad wanted that. And then from the Dali Museum, from Arizona, I think, New Mexico. Smoky. Smoky Mountains. Gates Cove from Australia, Little Koalas. Office space, diner table that we brought for home. The material is not the best, so because we clean it with uh, wet wipes all the time, this kind of bubble started to show up. So look for some sort of protection and to make it look a little bit better. So it looks kind of vinyl, but it's about something. Mm -hmm. And then this is another Vlad's work. These cute doors were done later on. And so yeah, with the hooks here are my stones for meditation and stuff. Our tower paper. And then here we have a mirror. This, um, um, board <laughs> here is another flashlight the one that the lad uses for the cap when we go hiking it is another nice gadget that we use magnets magnets mm -hmm. oh i didn't know that okay. as the level adjustment mm, for the angle adjustment the flashlight magnet this is cool. So yes, we read some notes. This is the cabinet office, uh, mainly. Mainly stuff in here, we didn't even remove that. Every laptop has its own uh, different measurement. 
while we drive, I just put this double protection, soft towel. This is <laughs> Vlad's another damask knife that he wanted for his birthday. Uh, yeah, he loves it and he likes doing anything with this kind of stuff. Books and DVDs that we use to watch movies when we don't have internet, we use them a lot. And here, yeah, hard disks, pens and stuff, my headphones over here, cables and stuff. The switch for this cute light, I don't know if you can see it. So it's accessible from here. As you see, we kept the roof as we did it at the beginning. I don't like it and that is why I ordered these uh, mandala tapestries. I wanted to hang them to cover the roof, but it kind of didn't work so well. That is why we are using it like that and I actually like it. I like the atmosphere. Right now we don't have the whole stylish conversion. We have this boho style, which I really love, but later it's gonna be more, um, it's gonna be different, I think, I suppose. Our queen bed that we brought from our apartment. Oh, I forgot something about this uh, cabinet here. This hooks both sides and then we use the laptop here to work so i can work here for example and he works in that section of the table or when during the night to watch movies like that or just lay down but this is much better than from here from here we couldn't see very well okay and from here uh because of the size of the bed we still have some spare Okay, so here we keep things that we don't use much often, like our two chairs, foldable chairs that we use when we eat or when we work, camping chairs, or we use it also for when we are camping. And this is tall, so sometimes if I need to get something from here and I don't want to take the whole drawer, I would just stand here and just look what I need. And from here we found the perfect spots, like the size is just perfect for this beauty here that saves my life, the cassette toilet camco. This bungee holds it so it would, wouldn't move. So it's like a common toilet. The size is pretty much the same. Okay, so when, when I use it, I just open this. And there you go, you have the hole. And it has these two parts. Here I would uh, have the water with this pump to just uh, wash it out. I have these two clips. clips and I will take that part to the dump, just like that. And the important, we use this RV toilet treatment, which stops others after seven days, no harmful. There are different, different brands. I use this one, it works pretty well. So it doesn't smell at all. And of course, every week we just dump it. I use some Clorox to clean it and just do the process. So during the day anyways, I try to go to a public restroom so it doesn't fill up so quick. Uh, so I use it mainly during the night or when I just uh, have to rush to the toilet and I don't make it. So this is the saver. That's why it's saving my life when I don't have enough time to get there. And a little bit of cuteness so it wouldn't look like that. And this is also the famous chair where you put some clothes, the ones that are not dirty, but you're still using them, but you don't want to uh, put them where the clean clothes is. So yeah, this is that chair that you know under the bed. My gym bag ready to go where I keep all of my toiletries. Deodorants and sprays and perfumes. And when the towel is dry, I put it just right away there. So this is ready to go. Any time I need to go take the shower and laundry bag and the storage container for the food. This we added later because also when you stop uh, suddenly this would move. So this little piece here is stopping it from going anywhere. I need to raise it a little bit, but it's not that much of a deal. And yeah, we have our cans, our dry food. We use a lot of uh, ready rice that we just microwave. So 
Oh yeah, these are the three things that we actually need from this side. The other is from the garage that we don't use that often. We added this for uh, some magazines and paper stuff. Our hanging closet. <laughs> oh, this is the Mandela tapestry curtains. It covers all this mess here. Very different kind of furniture. A little bit messy, but here we keep our utensils, vitamins, and first aid. What is here? Oh, the coffee, sugar, toiletries, perfumes, sprays, all kinds of sprays, disinfectant. So this I use it all the time to refresh the odors. This is one of the things that we use the most when we cannot afford to take a nice shower. Yes, we use the wet wipes all the time. Oh, we also use a lot of dry shampoo when we cannot take a shower. This secured with this baby secured locks so it wouldn't open while we drive. So these are the night tables that we had that we brought from our apartment. Here we have some spices, some kitchen cooking stuff, laundry, batteries, all kind of different stuff as well. So this used to be the popular hammock from Amazon that everybody has on the Instagram vans, but it's very bad. It lasted like uh, maybe a month and that's it. So we need to replace it. Now we don't have fruits, uh, but sometimes we buy fruits and just with a, just a bag. Here we have other LED lines that we use during the night. They aren't fixed, so we can just move them anywhere we need. So here we have camera, GoPro equipment, and here is the breakfast section with all of the breads and seeds and mayos and ketchup. Vlad loves this. Peanut butter, really easy to the access. Ziplocs, trash bags, paper, disposable plates because yeah, we don't have installed water, so we use them at least not plastic ones, but yeah. This is a good place to keep bottles, wine bottles and other kind of bottles. This is a cute one. This is a very strong one that we bought in Arkansas, but this is from Tennessee. <laughs> so yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of different uh, wet wipes. So here we have some other makeup remover. This is for the armpits speaker this is another solar light inflatable so we use it sometimes we used to have the wooden furniture the, that was the first thing we had but it broke for now it is better more sturdy uh, to have some plastic um, furniture this is mostly black section pants and shorts t-shirts shoes that we keep in different bags so they wouldn't get dirty between them. Underwear, and this is my section. <laughs> One of my se clothes sections because the other ones is over there. I haven't gotten to be minimalist yet. So yeah, I couldn't, I, I also work at an office and yeah, I couldn't get rid of many of the clothes yet. Here I keep, <laughs> It doesn't open because it's really full of stuff. This, this is because they are almost all this winter, very big um, jacket. Oh, I should have checked this before. All kinds of clothes that don't need um, ironing. So uh, everything that I can keep here and it won't wrinkle, I put it in here. Most of this is the sports t-shirts and leggings. More of different shoes. Yeah, it's not very well organized as you see, but <laughs> it works. So as you see, we need to keep these bungees. So while we drive, this wouldn't open that much. Vlad, this, this cute structure when we were at uh, Ozark because with all those roads, uh, gravel roads, everything would start to fall 
super to sound so yeah he did this in order to make it more sturdy and it really helps recyclable bags from the start ready to go gopro camera bag this is the fan that we had at home and we just broke and we used a lot uh, last summer in florida in miami we uh, plug this to the jackery and at least for six hours it might work so we haven't got rid of that yet just in case it gets too hot this is an amazing flashlight that we use when we go camping uh, yeah, this is awesome. So this is the inverter that Vlad connected uh, to the starting battery. It's not been very good to have done this because of course it's um, burning the battery. Now we are almost having to change. So it has here two USB ports and two AC. Trash. Oh, I forgot to show you Vlad's <laughs> machete. So I don't know if you remember from last video or one of our last videos where he said that the machete had something wrong. Then we were at Osaka and he also did this uh, wood, uh, handle. wood handle. So yeah, machete for different uses. Camera tripod is here. Bubble wrap for the windscreen and the bolts for the windows. This is the whole structure that holds this dresser, drawers, kind of everything, furniture. It's pretty sturdy right now. It's held here with these straps. But when we've been driving through those bumpy roads, it started to get weak, move. So then is when we, when we did the structure. So this is Memories from Ozark as well and helping to keep all this sturdy for the road. Okay, so I think we covered all the interior, so let's go check the garage. Okay, so let's go to our garage. This is our collection. secret collection. We have this card for our privacy and to keep like you know all the dirt this is a little bit dusty here so it won't allow the, the, the dirt to go inside because here is our bed the gas container this is a good thing to have i think coffee maker pots and pans and cooking stuff or portable plastic sink, sink that we have used a couple of times very useful compact mosquito repellents and camping stuff propane and yeah all kind of camping stuff in here cord in case we need to go to a campground and we can plug and have some ac running inside to charge the jaggery and yeah we don't have much electricity or, or many things to charge but this is very useful to have a very long one i, I don't know if this is 50 or 100 foot fishing stuff from the pole, fishing pole. One of the sleeping bags. Here is the Max Fan Deluxe. I hope to install it pretty soon. It's waiting for us to refresh ourselves to foldable, foldable bed. The camping table that we use a lot, raised it so we would have more space here to put all this kind of stuff under the bed. And also because because of the wheels, it's, it's a dualist, it wouldn't fit on the normal height. So yeah, this helped for many reasons. Sturdy with these straps hooked to these things. The canopy, another sleeping bag, the tent, our two burner propane stuff, Coleman, more propane, fire starter, Cleaning supplies, insect sprays and stuff. Our Explorer K2 inflatable kayak. For now, it's better than a hard one. Some containers and the huge toolbox. So pretty much here is the camping stuff and cooking stuff because we don't use it that often when we are in the city. When we are uh, camping, we just set up our campsite and just uh, place it there. 
this is our home. We might be talking, I don't know if next video, but we might be talking about our plans for the solar system, the electric system that we want to buy and install. And next thing I think is gonna be installing the rails on the roof and doing the hall for the max fan. That would be maybe next uh, video. I don't know, let's see how it goes, uh, depending on your comments, on what people would like us to tell after this. Like, subscribe if you want. Be safe and thank you for watching. And so, yeah, we need to leave this beautiful place. Bye. for the shot <laughs> so now I'm just running look at that beautiful <laughs> oh my god it's so hot in here um oh I forgot <laughs> any times we need water when there is no so uh, such uh water so in this section do you wanna come here <laughs> Что сказать? Да. Yeah. Что я говорила, когда я открыла? Mm -hmm. The laptops, uh, it's really... It's really what? It doesn't... Как это говорится? Okay. And he's flat, waiting for me. And there I go. Bye!